Okay, wonderful. Okay, so welcome to our webinar today, Be in Your Own Position, Learning to Heal Yourself. And looking forward to doing this one. This is one that I did first a few weeks ago and on this level and been amazing to actually see just how much people have responded and learning about the whole principles of self-healing. So just to give us a bit of an idea in the chat, just let us know where you're coming from. So who here is from America, Australia? You have just typed, give me a bit of an idea where you're from. It'd be great. Okay, I'm getting people from Perth, from Wickerpen, Melbourne, Brisbane, US. It's 4.30 in the morning. Oh, you're really committed. That's awesome, Sue. And then we've got Queensland. So definitely people... Even the fact we're doing this webinar, when you think about it, is a miracle. And I was just talking with someone today about the miracle of frequency and how I can be sitting here right now in my house and in my home office talking like this. And you have technology that can take my that can take my image, turn it into light particles, stream it right across the globe, and every one of you sitting there watching it. That in itself shows you the capabilities of what potentially is possible. So you'll be learning today a lot about what's possible and hopefully having your mind absolutely blown. So just type in the text chat here what you, the main reason you're here for, just to give me a bit of an idea if you're here to learn, like more just more about generally, if you've got a specific issue to deal with, just to give me a bit of an idea, like a health issue, just learning about frequencies, that would be great. Learning, learning just interested about mastering energy, getting one here about health issues. Yeah, yep, sick issues, we're here to learn, heal rheumatoid arthritis, brilliant. Yeah, this is where it can help really, really well. So you can apply this just about anything. You're learning to heal physical stuff, emotional stuff, um, just about anything, you know? And you know, I love listening to your voice. I love you, Fiona, too. So understanding why the dowsing I've done isn't working, Yep, no, nah, look, absolutely. Hopefully today we'll give you a fair bit of an idea about that. So on that note, let's get underway. So let's be very clear. It's not intended to in any way substitute for the advice or assistance from health practitioners or anything like that. And I can, I'll say to you truthfully, I certainly still use these people myself. I don't, haven't suddenly become this healer who always never does this. It's just that I use them less than I used to. And many of the times I find I can heal myself. And really, I just get these people involved. I just want some confirmation, a bit of extra support. But I've been able to significantly cut down my cost on supplements, being able to do this more frequently, get accuracy. Even this, even, even on the weekend when I had something, just my, noticing I was waking up a lot during the night, I did some self-testing and infusion work and it showed up um, exactly what was out. And interestingly, when I was talking to someone who also said to me yeah what you tested exactly as a professional what would be the case so this is intended to supplement the wisdom to save you money and help you become empowered in your healing journey because most sacred writings really support this and the whole idea of using the position and how that could actually help you so anyway get rid of distractions really turn off your mobiles and social media to focus take notes in the notebook questions in the q a box it goes for about 90 minutes including the q a um, possibly less. Let's just get started anyway. So let's just share what you'll be learning today. And the biggest thing is that everything is energy and energy can be transformed. And just the very fact that you can sit there and I'm not sure who's using chat GPT, but we use that and artificial software and intelligence more and more. And it's just absolutely astonishing what it can be, what it can do. And even what frequencies can do and even what's potentially possible now. And even what can be live streamed and what can be done. That you know, the fact you've got satellites in the sky like Elon Musk is doing with Starlink, just about energy is what's driving everything. And the more awareness there is, this is gonna be the next level as people start to realize the power of transmuting and transforming energy with your health. And how to use the power of your intention to manifest health, prosperity, and well-being in your life, that is a big one. And I'm convinced more and more, but the only thing that limits what we can use this for is just what we believe is possible. And I even had someone ask me, 
you know, the other day, can I use this in finance? And I'm like, yeah, you can. I've used this. I've known people who've used it in finance who've had extraordinary results with this. Um, you can use this with your health. You can use this in relationships. You can use this in healing, you know, major issues of your life and heart. There's, there's just about anything you can do. Your state of well-being, you know, there's a lot you can do. Exploring the fascinating world of quantum physics and how it intersects with our understanding of health and wellness. Discover how energy, vibration, consciousness works to shift your healing journey. So you can learn about that. We'll be doing a very scientific approach as an example. Um, learn about the mind-body connection. Explore the teachings of renowned authors like Louise Hay to understand the deeper meanings behind physical ailments and how every physical disease or lack of ease has a mental or psychological root. So that's another example. Gain insight into energy bodies beyond the mind and physical body. And it amazes me how few people actually realize that there was bodies beyond the physical body. Um, the concept we got a soul makes sense to people, but many people go, what do you mean by ferric body? What do you mean by auric field? How does it relate to healing? And the connection to the physical, mental, and emotional aspects of your well-being. As you'll learn tonight, this is actually a really big thing. The, the One of the fastest growing things of scientists discovering how nothing happens in the physical body or anything like that until it's first happened near ferric. Learn about scientific as well as um, etheric energy processes and how you can infuse the frequencies just about anything um, to not only heal your body, but save you a lot of money in the process. And the only issue with this that's going to happen is just like artificial um, intelligence is resulting in the great replacement. And I was reading the other day what jobs they predict will be replaced. And it's frightening. I mean, I was looking today at a new software that can literally replace the role of a lawyer with contract drafting. It can go and redraft your contracts um, for you. I was, and like actually on instructions, I'm just like, wow. And I was predicting within three years, many lawyers would be out of business. And after seeing that today, it's going to be a lot faster. I'm predicting many healthcare practitioners and health experts more and more won't be needed in the way they're doing it anymore because people will start to realize it. I'll be showing you briefly tonight, even videos that where I can show in real time where I've actually done that. I was doing that sitting with a, um, a homeopath natural medicine man who uses machinery to test the frequency of your organs and then rebalance you through energetic infusion using this. I was using my good old fashioned bobber or energy rod to basically do it for me and then retesting it and it wasn't needed anymore. So some of the summaries of what you're going to be learning today is this kind of stuff, you know, manifestation, power of intention, the basic principles of, in, of infusing energy and things like that. Um, you'll be learning um, basically how it works exactly. The yogi and quantum physicists, the metaphysics of mind, body, emotion, the etheric body and auric field, and infusing it in how to and the principle of it. And let's do it in real life. And if I break that up into three further things, you're really about learning about energy. One and two is about that. Um, well, rather, one to three is really about energy and about the power to transform energy and shift it. That's um, points one to three. Um, point four is about the metaphysics of the body, mind, and emotions and how this all interlinks. And then five and six is about the etheric body and how you can shift and transmute it. So to help you master this aspect of your life, at the end of this training, we'll offer a one-day workshop um, if you want to gain mastery in this area and get some help to fast-track yourself a little bit. And regardless of whether you're interested in the workshop or not, you're going to get tremendous value in today's training because I'm certainly going to give you my absolute best to help you gain a foundational understanding of this area. I found that you give people the best quality material, then inevitably by serving and helping out. Um, yes, we've already had a lot of enrollments for the workshop, put it that way. So just a quick question and just type in the chat, um whether you can relate to any of this so i'm going to kind of number each of these just to make it a little bit easier so number one is you got a kind of chronic health issue so if that's you just type a one in the chat if you've got something or when i say chronic just something that's really plaguing the heck out of you and you really just want to get on top of it and you're like you know what i'll do i'll try something i'll do whatever it takes yep we're getting a few ones Yep. Okay, great. Well, you're the people I particularly love to help because I've been there myself. I had horrific stuff and I'll be sharing a bit about that in my story. Number two, and this is more and more common than I'm finding than ever, 
You're experiencing anxiety and mental health issues of all the rapid changes in the world and the crazy energies in the astral realm. So that's you. Just type I'll just type a two in the chat. If you're actually, I mean, I'm having people saying it's literally driving them nuts at night. They're having difficulties. I'm meeting strong people who are having difficulties with this, which people that I would never have guessed in a million years. Okay, yep. There's a few already. Not surprising. I had some of my own challenges until I was able to infuse energies and transmute it. I have no problem admitting I've had that at times. Um, number three, you're genuinely finding the cost of living and supplements challenging. I'm not saying that you're struggling. You may or may not be, but you're just finding it a bit challenging and you would love some kind of to use this to cut costs and things you don't need and save a bit of money, just like using artificial intelligence to save some money. You know? If you've got a three as well, yep, there's a few on the three. Yep, quite a lot, actually. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look, I've saved me a, a fair bit of money, which has been really cool. Number four, you have attracted some problems a lot in career, business, financial, because this can relate to that too. So you just have had stuff happen like hostile people, toxic relationships, um, challenges, just type of four. If you've just attracted uh, some stuff, you'd really like to learn to transmute this and stop this kind of shit from happening for you. Yep. Again, quite a few people. Yep. Yeah, and number five, you're doing all, you're actually doing quite well for yourself. You're overall on top of your life, but you're like, look, I just want to, I'm keen to be empowered and learn more to heal myself, prosper. In other words, I just want to become more prosperous, better as a person, and just kick ass in my life. I just want to get better, make more money have better relationships, have better health, just have all areas of my life really prospering, you know, know how to be in the right place at the right time to make the right deal, all that kind of stuff, and really train my brain into this. Because ultimately, as you'll learn today, science has pretty much shown now that your outer reality is an absolute reflection of your inner reality completely. And the more you can retrain your brain and your mind, the more you will attract different realities in your life. Okay. So let's just start with having a bit of a look at the concept of actually changing your energy. And is this a really such a weird concept as we might think? Because once upon a time, what I'd find is people would be like, oh, you know, this kind of stuff. Um, it's really spiritual. It's shamanic. It's kind of a bit woo-woo. Well, it's not really that strange. And the fact you've got artificial intelligence, the fact that you've got the internet, and as I said, the fact that you've got me in my home talking straight into your home tells you that it's possible. You know, because I've gone from a physical form, real life human being, to where I've been turned into an energy light body and been sent across the internet. And then my energy light body has appeared as an image upon your screen. Think about it. That's what's actually happened. That in itself proves the point that everything is energy and all energy can be transformed. And that's just about anything. And I we have we have seen extraordinary things throughout in doing this. We have seen not just health, amazing health miracles and financial miracles and other stuff and debts miraculously clear and things like that and, and instant health and instant infusion and stuff like that. We, we were using this in COVID during lockdowns and certain things and some of the results were mind blowing, like literally doing exact intentions and then that same night, and this happened so many times and some of you that were doing that with us would know the project we we're doing. We saw in real life that night, government people getting up and announcing exact things like we were actually shown. So there's literally, it's our, the only thing that limits us is just purely our belief. That's it. Nothing else. And in fact, we believe it's possible. And as I said to someone today, I said, could you imagine 50 years ago telling someone that you'd be able to jump on a, your computer and or your phone and just talk to someone in the other side of the world where the image would go up and do this kind of stuff. They looked at you and go, yeah, okay. Um, you're a bit of a conspiracy theorist, but we're doing it now. So I say, think of it like a river. That's what I say with energy. So if you dive into a flowing river and do nothing, you will go with the tide. The only way to stop yourself flowing is by actively swimming against the tide. And my personal view is that whoever has been behind all this world nonsense going on is extremely aware of this. And they're very aware that if you can program the minds of people by constant information that's hitting their screen and their mind and their social media scroll, you're training people into a certain way of expectation. Like, you know, you start to expect things will happen. Like, I expect that the government will do this. We expect to be locked down. 
we expect this to happen or we expect um, an economic re recession and we expect to lose our money and things like that. And the best way to take control of a population or really a society is you've got to control the media on what people are thinking. And I don't have the slightest doubt, and there's plenty of evidence to show that, and it's not hard to see the amount of indoctrination that's gone on to prepare people for a certain reality. So the problem we really face today, from my experience, is that people just don't understand this area enough. And as soon as we passively, and the way I like to explain it is like this. Imagine that you cleaned your house tonight, okay? And then you decided, you know what? I've cleaned my house. I never have to clean it again. About a month later, you start to notice it's looking a bit dirty. Within three months, it would look really dirty. Probably within six months, it would be awful. And I'm sure you would agree. And it wouldn't take long. And so the idea of frequency changing is you've got to make it consistent at it. And you've got to know you can do it, you know? So in the same way, many people are familiar with a house clean and you're familiar with an internal detox. So people might go and have a fast or an internal cleanse of food. But many people don't even detox themselves energetically from Facebook, from social media from time to time, or just do what I call an etheric body wash. Just wash your etheric body right out. And that's why one of the best things I ever did was when I started doing regular etheric body washes and detoxes. Couldn't believe the difference in my state of mind and how I felt about myself. So my story has been really simple. I got into this area and very originally i've always been very interested in anything spiritual or shamanic you know i've been on that journey since i was young i was fortunate enough to be in a very very good church which did a lot of miracles and i sort of learned a lot about that i had a, a lot of profound spiritual experiences it really went on steroids for me when i had a major health breakdown when i basically hit 30 like <clears throat> literally my health just completely fell apart i mean i've had asthma and hay fever and just about every flu and viral infection three or four times a year up to that point anyway but i had chronic back problems hit me fibromyalgia chronic fatigue repetitive strain injury um severe joint arthritic symptoms i mean just depression um bloating out in my stomach like you wouldn't believe it was just awful and for the first year, I tried relatively conventional health means and maybe a few extra things, like I tried some Cairo, which I'd never done before, and a few things like that. But eventually, I hit this point when I was almost literally sitting by a river, wondering how easy it would be to kill myself and how fast it would happen. So I thought, mm, I'm going to have to do something about this. So that was when I started the journey. I started exploring alternate health. I could keep you here for hours. But I, I started looking at everything from mind body stuff was where I really got happening with psychotherapy, studying about the mind and the body and how they interrelated, which at first I thought it really can't be like that. I mean, surely it doesn't work. It's not that simple. I started to notice that everything that the mind body was teaching, I thought that's actually true of me. I remember when I first read about asthma and the mind body reasons for asthma, and it was like reading my childhood. I thought, Oh God, my, my relationship with my mother. So it got me into this stuff <clears throat> and I found that the thing that really sped up my health, I mean, I made improvements from gym, eating better, doing certain things, making career changes, but, um, but the etheric body stuff was what actually fixed me. I, and it started for me originally by meeting a brilliant etheric body healer who used a mixture of energy work as well as machinery to test me and work on me, but lots of energy work. And would lead to do stuff like infusion of crystals and frequencies and various other things into me. And I remember one particular day when she'd done that, I walked out of there and I went from where I couldn't spend more than 10 or 15 minutes on a computer without getting severe nerve pain, shooting up my arms, everything else, to where I was back typing and doing everything as normal. And I remember literally that the, the tears I had in my eyes when I realized I'd fixed it. And this was about 20 years ago. Now it seems like such a distant memory, but leading up to that night was life was just a horror for me of just living, sitting on special cushions in restaurants, feeling like I was a cripple, um, constant pain, feeling humiliated half the time. And then, and just the constant trauma that would plague my soul, which I just walked away from. And then I would love to say that since then, my health was amazing and I lived happily ever after. It wasn't, but I got better about managing it and bit by bit, 
I started to master this more and more and more and more. And I can remember when I, and I had a whole new way of being. I can remember when I first had, um, I had a, I had a relapse of it se seven years later, but I knew that it wasn't, it wasn't permanent. I thought my ferric body's messed up. I did some work, didn't help at first. And then I found a new next level of ferric body healer um, who taught me some next level stuff, did some work with me, and I managed to fix that as well. Then I, then I end up having um, gallbladder attacks started happening to me. I cleansed it through natural means, which was amazing. I saved my gallbladder. But on and off for six years, every now and again, I have to redo my gallbladder cleanse until I realize, like, Warren, what are you doing? You just fix it in the etheric. So again, I worked with the etheric body. I repatterned my etheric gallbladder. As soon as I did that, I needed one more fast and cleanse in 2018 and, and 2019, and I was done. Really have not had any issues with my gallbladder since. I had rheumatoid arthritis hit me when I, in 2016, just out of nowhere. Um, it was pretty scary. I was waking up at night with severe pain in my fingers and joints. And I can remember going, pulling out all my stops, all my etheric body stuff, even my mindset, my language, my programming, my mental programming. And, what, and then at first, I forgot about doing that. Once I got doing that and using imagery and other stuff, I noticed I started to improve. And then I started to get lit. Because because the ferric body healing sometimes is instant. Sometimes what it does, it clears the blockages in your mind. And then you get led to do physical actions. So in my case, I got an instant sense to go and do a big fast, a juice fast. I, I then ran it by a, a healthcare professional just to make sure that it's safely. And I did an 18-day juice fast following on from that. And that helped to solidify it. I started doing some yoga. I got led to do more of my body and things like that, but never would have fixed if I hadn't fixed it in my ferric. Because as soon as I fixed it in my ferric, it already started getting better. And that kind of finished and made it more sustainable to detox me, myself energetically. And since then, I've noticed that more and more now, I just do it for maintenance. These days, I'm in the best health I've ever been in. Asthma is a thing of the past for me. Um, hay fever is a thing of the past for me. Um, back problems are a thing in the past my back's the best it's been i can even do handstands against the wall now i can do pull-ups quite easily one one arm hangs there's a whole lot of stuff i can do now i can do monkey bars um my biggest thing now is that when i start to get run down on frequencies or need stuff i just can go ahead and infuse it into myself if i'm not present near something and again i'll emphasize i haven't completely thrown away using supplements and using other stuff i just use them a lot less and often I might have a little bit and then go, okay, I don't need much more. And quite frequently, frequently, I don't even need it at all. I just infuse it into myself. So this is something I've lived. I'm living it now. I use it in finances. I've used it to change the relationship patterns I was getting as well in my life. I've seen the difference in finance and business. business. Every now and again, I will admit when I drop off my discipline, I've noticed when I start to get challenges. But you can use this with just about anything. And it's the way of the future. And in five years from now, maybe 10 years, maybe even less, it'll be very similar to now, 20 years ago, when I first had my health stuff 25 years ago. I mean, when I went to a psychologist, I had to be very quiet about it because generally most people would think I was crazy. It was not encouraged. It was seen as ridiculous. Now, of course, mental health is encouraged. And in five, 10 years from now, what I'm teaching you there will be completely mainstream. It'll be normal. I'll even go as far as to say, you'll have computers, you'll have scanners, you'll be able to put your hand on the scanner or just look into a computer, um, into a camera and certain and, and, and the frequencies will be transmuted, which will just about start to slowly put a lot of doctors and health people out of business. I think a lot's going to change. It's going to become remarkable where this is all going to go. So is this scientifically based is a question I ask. Well, as I said, the fact that you've got... Um, but I can do this webinar with you tells you that it actually it tells you that there's a science behind it. I mean, we're not magically having an internet where I'm magically on your screen. There's actual science behind why this is happening. There's a science behind why you can watch a television set um, and why you get waves. It's all about the basic science of waves turned into particles, like waves into particles. And a simple example is that the physical screen of your phone or your computer, that's particles. Um, me sitting here is particles, is matter. 
but my image on your screen is, of course, waveform, like a television. So if you read Michael Talbot's holographic universe, he's pretty much shown that everything in the universe is a hologram. There's a guy called Dr. Michael Moshevitz um, who follows his stuff. They found even the brain is so holographic, for example. There's been experiments done where they've actually got fish and they've cut their, and they've cut parts of their brain out of them and they continue as normal. And because all that happens to the other functions of the brain just simply re -assimilate. So why doesn't that work for humans? Well, because of what we get told by doctors. You are now brain damaged because this part of your brain is done. You hear that, you believe that, it's done. I have no doubt I, 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 that if a doctor said something different to the person, completely different something, it's very likely that the person would probably function as normal. They've tested with fish, with animals, they've taken parts of the brain out, but even took the brain out of a salamander and put it upside down and everything went back to normal very quickly. So um, Raymond Grace, a guy who's mentored me, talks about the story where he saw a guy have a severe car crash and got out looking absolutely wrecked and injured. And he managed to get to him before anyone else did while he's in a deep traumatized state in what he calls a programmable brain state and said to him, man, you're completely fine. You're healed. You've recovered. You're completely fine. You're in good health. You're good. He goes, really? He goes, yeah, you're good. You, you, you're healed. I can't believe it. You, you're very fortunate. And by the time the ambulance came, they, they, they were completely stunned because the guy's walking around, no pain, saying, yeah, and I'm fine. Because he was able to program um, and get it into the brain. Um, there's the placebo effect studies, which are showing that you put water in someone and tell them it fixes a brain tumor. There was a guy who actually was getting healed in the Oxford Medical Journal. So everything is like a hologram. Dr. Michael Moshevich talks about how the brain can pick up the parts of the slack and was getting huge results in America in fixing up Alzheimer's and dementias by simply working on their brain and reprogramming them about what was going on in their brain. But think about what happens. You, you go and see a specialist who says your child is autistic or you go and see a specialist and they tell you you got arthritis. If you didn't have it before, you got it now, you know? So when I had the symptoms of it, I was very clear, distinguished in my mind. I don't have arthritis. I've got some symptoms resembling it. And they're already in the process of shifting and changing. So a bit of a summary of the scientific conclusions, which science has now found. Um, Oxford University studies, quantum physics, Max Planck as well, Amit Goswani, an Oxford uh, physicist, is materialistic physics or the Einsteinian thing that believes that matter creates your thoughts is now believed that what we see is only a consciousness creation. So if you believe that this is a computer before you or believe something, that's what it is. So if you believe you've got arthritis, you've got it. Now, I'm not saying you walk around in denial, but at the same time, if you're walking around saying, I've got, you know, like, you know, fibromyalgia or I've got this, I'm not saying you deny it. But you can start to change and reprogram yourself to say, well, I'm already in the process of getting a hell of a lot better from this. And it's just the symptoms of it, but it's just, it's in the process of fixing. And you'll be amazed what happens when you start to do that. There's the fact that we're all interconnected with one another as people. The fact that space and time is an illusion, that time isn't linear, all is now, past, present, future is all one. That's the other thing, which means you can program, you can fix things from the past instantly now. You can heal now. You can you can change your probable future right now. Remote viewing has shown that the world is a series of probable futures, and basically the probable futures can be changed most of the time. Things or objects aren't localized, but are spread to apart as one big hologram. And things don't exist until observed. And this is the biggest secret of the work we're teaching about today. And that's why I said we are so limited what we are able to do because we are so completely living by, you know, strange beliefs. Only when we believe in to be there by perceived awareness do they exist, we create our own life hologram. Okay, so just some comments. Who's enjoying this so far? Who's finding this fascinating? Awesome. So a few people are really enjoying it. Great. Done this up since teens. Loving it. Interesting. So good. Thanks, Jen. Great reminders. Absolutely. So, by the way, who was here on the first webinar? Just type the word, you know, I was. Just say I was if you were, because I did this training, as you know, a few weeks ago. Just let us know if you were here then. Yep, a few people. Great. 
always good when you are and okay if you're completely new just type a new just to give me a bit of an idea there seems to be quite a lot of new people here today yep plenty of new welcome from france it's awesome so welcome lots of new people did one with me and raymond okay fantastic well great to see you all okay so here's another one for you um yogis and religious now keep in mind they've been saying this kind of stuff for a very very long time thank you lisa your story humbles me thank you fascinated thank you lisa very kind so yogis have been saying all this stuff for a long time and 100 years ago even 50 years ago people would kind of giggle a little bit but the science i've been teaching you aligns with religion you know and so jesus basically said this he said i tell you the truth if anyone says um was what jesus said to you know to this mountain goes straight from the sea and doesn't doubt in his heart but he believes it it will be done for him so therefore whatever you ask for in prayer believe now here's the critical words believe that you have received it and it will be yours that's a universal law if ever i've seen one so you believe that you have received healing it will be yours if you believe that someday in the future you'll be healed you probably won't be because the unconscious mind doesn't understand the future the concept of the future it only understands the concept of now so that's why i said there's yogis across the world right now who as adrian clark talks about in his book earth's energies a research, scientific researcher he saw with his own eyes a buddhist monk levitating in midair and he's just like how the hell man do you do that the guy said easy you see air i see a solid block i i see air you see air i see solid block my homeopath his wife as used to bend spoons like in the matrix he said she would just say that she would say there's no spoon it's just what i believe to be so she knew how to do it even showed me evidence it was quite mind-blowing there's yogis like sai baba who was able to take a, a stone and in front of a series of people turn the stone into gold there's theresa neumann the, the the extraordinary case in india who literally um theresa neumann was able to actually um go for 50 years without eating a modern miracle because she said i just know that we're, we're, that, the, that the air gives me every and the water gives me everything i need she and so she just her belief her belief system had no doubt that was the truth and one of the reasons why is that many of these yogis when they've tested them under brain state is they learn to function in a theta or delta brain state most of the time so the beta state is the busy active mind so when you're anxious and having mental health and stress and you're over and you're working hard you're going to be in this kind of busy mind it's impossible to manifest or shift energy in that state the alpha state the best way to think of it is like when you're watching a webinar or watching t tv you're kind of in this state where you're not we are thinking but not a lot you're kind of in a passive restful state that is why television and media is such a powerful way to be programming people because in that state you do that so if you if you're in a beta state and you try and reprogram yourself with affirmations you're wasting your time I always aim to do my affirmations when I'm the most relaxed, when I'm half asleep, when I first wake up or late at night. Because by that stage, you're in an alpha or even a theta. A theta is what I call a half asleep, half awake. You're kind of in this zone where Tesla, when he used to do his um, invention, he would sit there on a rocking chair and he'd wait till his ball bearing fell out of his hand. And what would happen when, the, when it fell out of his hand is he knew he was in a fatal state and all he would do is quickly go along and type any and just basically write in his journal um anything that he possibly could and that's where many of his greatest inventions and downloads actually came from so it's very very powerful and this kind of stuff and the delta state is when you're in that REM sleep so generally the yogis who could do constant miracles are generally pretty much stay around the theta state and some of the greatest ones like Yuketswa and others who could actually turn invisible walk through walls 
I often actually found the secret, and I don't know how I do it, of being in a delta state while actually walking around on Earth, like awake. So one of the things I'm big on is mastering brain states and learning to slow the brain down. Uh, I had a very funny experience about a week, a couple of weeks ago in Thailand, where by mistake, I took a can of a brownie, having no idea what I was doing, and I literally just, my whole head felt like it was exploding, I went super high. It was quite scary at the time, thought I was going mad, and then afterwards I noticed for many days, me and my sons who did it were kind of very slow in our brain, we we're much more quiet, we we're getting downloads so, so easily, and I've noticed ever since my brain's been slower. So these tools you can do like neurofeedback, the breath can help you do that, just meditation, there's various ways to slow the brain down, but but that's the secret to do it. You'll get more downloads if you and um, more clarity. And if you're going to do infusion of frequencies, you really want to be training yourself to be more and more in an etheric brain state or an alpha brain state. And so, yeah, you can kind of really look into the conscious mind. And I mean, the ability to read energy intuitively, um, it's been around for a long time. And one of the exciting things they found in a, in a question was, can you teach this ability to people from scratch who really aren't used to it? I mean, we've, we've probably all got friends who are natural psychics, prophets, advanced skills in this area. But as they found in the American remote viewing experiment, the answer was a resounding yes. They were taking soldiers who were very much anything but psychics and turning them into very accurate readers of the future and intuitive energy reading. In fact, to the point they were better than the psychics because they were more disciplined rather than kind of assuming that they just knew what they were doing. They followed process. They learned how to get their brains into the right state. And then they followed it. And I've actually noticed that the more I've done this and I've met people doing this, you can get to the point when you can pretty much read what's coming in the future more and more easily, not always the exact time, but you get a pretty good idea. I was telling people back in 2019 and 20, what was coming. I, I was getting downloads and seeing a, vaccine kind of rollout experiment back in 2018 and I didn't quite know what it meant but it looked really bad and I was telling people at the time I can remember in 2019 saying in 2020 I saw some things happening I saw some lockdowns I saw some frequency manipulation going on and I saw a series of events and a lot of this was just by tuning in and even to this day if I tune in I can tune in pretty accurately and more and more Generally, it, the challenge you always face is when you've got a vested interest, like sometimes I've noticed with finances, I've got very accurate reading, sometimes not, because you start getting motivated or influenced by, by other factors. But in principle, you can do that. I can remember doing an experiment with a, a brain expert where I was hypnotized and I went into a deep um, theta brain state and he was measuring me on machine and, until he could see I was in a theta. Then he got me to go 24 hours into the future and remote view the gold chart for two hours. And I saw it as clear as a bell. I saw it start and go up a bit. I saw it shoot down and then I saw it go up again. And literally 24 hours later, the exact thing that I saw was what happened. So there's no question that you can do all this. And there's many, many ways you can read energy. I mean, I mean, you know, some of the greatest ones can just go by their pure intuition. Generally, this is more harder to be accurate um, without tools just because we get filters involved ego gets involved um, other things get involved we start trying to second guess ourselves and things like that the other one is pendulum dowsing those who've seen Raymond Grace would know Raymond's a big fan and pendulums are very useful for specific measurement like as an example of a pendulum let me just um so you're training your, your subconscious mind. And I was even doing this today with someone. I was sitting down with them, getting them to practice. And it was amazing seeing them how quickly they got it. I just said, I started by saying, you know, just basically, yes, yes. And so in my mind saying, yes, I noticed that my pendulum goes up and down. No, no. And I noticed that. So it's a simple starting point, yes and no. So are we doing this webinar on Zoom right now? That's my end of course, see what the pendulum does. And the pendulum starts to naturally go into a yes. Am I doing this webinar right now on Skype? And the answers are going to be no. So why don't you, you can actually train yourself, for example, by just simply practicing a lot on obvious answers that are yes or no. And, and basically doing that. 
And then you can start to practice on things like, you know, measurements and things like that. Like, for example, like is like, and so what I will often do is you can use the chart or I've got my hand now, memorize the diagram on my hand. So set it on zero and then just say, are there people on this webinar with, you know, food, what food allergies in terms of sugar? And what am I getting? I'm getting a yes. What's the average percentage effect upon these people? Let's see what comes up. Hmm, pretty high, about 40, 50%, negative 40, 50%. So for some people, sugar affects you quite greatly and things like that. So one of the things we can do for now, and let's just do this for a bit of fun. Um, I'm going to show you this bobber because the other thing you can do is bobber. And let's just start to scramble you know, the effects of sugar upon people's frequencies and upon their body. So any of you who've got sugar kind of note really affects you just to kind of neutralize it. I did this on myself. I can actually eat ice cream and all kinds of stuff, but I just couldn't eat before. It would aggravate joint pain and everything. Literally train my, my mind out of it. That's all you're doing. Richard Bandler shows even with NLP, you can get someone to the point where they can get dental surgery with no anesthetic by training their brain to believe it won't hurt them. So it doesn't matter how we're doing it. It works scientifically, NLP, energetically. It works. So for those of you who are in a state of receptive faith, your susceptibility to sugar is being significantly reduced to neutral. Okay, starting to settle down now. So now let's just take the pendulum and let's just take another look at it and have it and see what happens. Okay, what's the general now overall impact upon people? I'm getting now about negative 5%. So that's a significant drop. So is there anyone here who felt a genuine shift in that? I'm curious. Anyone actually could feel it? And suddenly, for some reason, you just have a sense like, yeah, I could probably eat it now. I did this on white bread with myself. I just couldn't eat it before without major reactions. I can eat white bread now. I don't always do it. Just raise your hand or type a yes in the chat if you actually did feel and notice something. But if you did, I suggest you go and try a tiny bit later on and see what it does. Yep, when in the fader. Yep. I find women especially are really good with this because they just receive and believe. So a couple of people. Okay, great. So there are a few people. But I felt this. Anyone else? So the other one we could try as an example. So you can use the pendulum as well. So anyone here know that you have a particular um, allergy right now to, let's say, dust? Anyone have a really bad allergy to dust or grass? Just type a Y if that's you. Yep, okay, a few people. Okay, yep, getting a few coming through, a few yeses. Yep, quite a few. Okay, so let's just see. What extent on average is affecting people? Alert allergy to dust for these people who've given a yes. Okay, about a negative 25, negative 30% I'm getting. So not as high as the sugar. So let's just kind of see if we can scramble the impact of dust and pollen. It's going pretty fast. I can tell you now, I can remember when I used to live on all kinds of horrible cortisone sprays up my nose, and those days are well and truly over now from this and other things. And let's also go a little bit further. Let's just infuse whatever flower essences and homeopathics that are necessary. And let me just, in fact, show the Berecki book from the Berecki Flower Essences and Herbs book, the medical encyclopedia, into people and into the etheric and auric field to assist them in the same way that my healer did with me years ago, and I did with myself using the same um, adjustments, EFT acupuncture points. Okay, let's just see now what it's showing up. And again, you know, it works for some, not for others. It all comes to your state of mind. 
Let's have a look. Okay, so now saying is pretty much neutralized. So if you have noticed a difference, raise hands. Yeah. Just type a Y or just type it, yeah, six participants. A lot of people felt that difference. You'll be, I'll be very surprised if you don't see a huge difference in that. That's these, like I said, these ones, um, just notice how it feels. Let's do another one, for example. You know, so if everyone's got a glass of water, yep, some felt their lungs lifted. Collective, yeah, when you've got a group thing and you've got people in the right brain state, which are like today, you can do miracles. This is like really cool stuff. I absolutely love this. So really, really good stuff. What you can potentially do, how you can shift it. So if you've got a glass of water, what we're going to even do now, let's see, just have a taste of your water right now. You know, you can even get a taste of water from it. You can get some from your tap or just get some water better with you right now and just have a sip of the water. It's going to give you 30 seconds. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this. We're going to then do some frequency work on it. Then later on, I'll tell you what I've done. If anyone notices the change. Wow, Electra, the heaviness I've had in chest since forever just lifted. That is brilliant. I love that, Electra. That is really good. This is when we see this stuff start happening, and we see plenty of it. It's, this is the part why I love doing this more than just about anything else. Okay, let's just work on your water. So I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. I just want to see if anyone notices afterwards. Okay, so have a sip of your water. I'm curious if any of you have noticed a very genuine difference in the taste. I want to have mine. Okay, yeah, it's softer and lighter, my water. Then I'll tell you what I did, if anyone noticed it. So just type, yep, they just raise your hand or type in it if you felt something. Yeah, plenty of people. Yeah, when Raymond does this, it's a miracle. I mean, I remember when I first learned this from Raymond, it blew my mind. I was, he, in fact, the water in Virginia is atrocious where he was. And we got the water and we then, and we literally, he then, we, he read it and we drank it. It was the purest spring water. I remember in that town, there wasn't a single health food restaurant. I remember we went and we bought these horrible greasy burgers, which normally I could never eat. And my son was the one who challenged me. Well, why don't we just change the frequency? So we just all worked on changing it to a sourdough frequency. We ate the burger and it was like eating a really beautiful grilled burger. So yeah, a lot of people have said yes. So what I did was I neutralized the spirit of greed, of biochemical pollutants and, the, and, 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 and greed, and you know, the kind of thing that's been messed around with the water, any kind of unresolved negative energy or entity involvement, and I transformed it by putting in the flower of life, which is a sacred symbol of geometry, into the water. And then what I did was I also invited back the spirit of the water, which leaves the water when there's been commercial stuff and biopollutants. And we also asked, I also humbly asked spirit of the Daintree rainforest, which is the most beautiful water I've tasted, to infuse the water for you. And yeah, it's pretty remarkable. I just love this stuff. So anyway, that's a bit of a demonstration. We're going to be doing another work later on on health issues just to really do that. That's another way you can infuse frequencies. Pineal activation. This is, some of you would know about the pineal gland in your third eye, you know, so we go ahead and we neutralize and we can activate that by imagining or infusing a code into your third eye. I've used this to gradually get rid of the effects of fluoride on it um, and things like that. So remote viewing, I don't have time to go too much into that, but if you ever look into that one, it's a study of consciousness and how you can actually study. Um, so remote viewing, you can actually go ahead and study um, consciousness, read the future. Um, in fact, they found extraordinary results, read what's going on. The US government and the Russians were using it to spy on each other. 
um, and things like that. It's extraordinary how accurate this is. And it's because the way the unconscious mind works, it has access to the whole field of world collective information. That's what's exciting about this. Really, really exciting. So what you've got here is understand the proactive and reactive brain and the fight flight adrenal response. And this is why I believe there's so much program. You can see that in COVID happening firsthand, people just did irrational stuff. Um, we tend to automatically, and, and Gerald O'Donnell in his remote viewing consciousness studies, he used to teach traders at Wall Street. I've actually had the privilege of meeting Gerald, one of the most advanced teachers on the science of consciousness. And Gerald says that most traders lose money, not because they're not good traders, but because ultimately they're unconscious. Their strongest response takes over, the fear of loss. He says that fear is the strongest motivator and we manifest the strongest emotion. So we far more easily manifest our fears than anything else. So if you have a big fear of ill health or fear of financial scarcity or fear for your future, and it's really genuinely strong, no matter what affirmations that you do, you're gonna manifest those fears eventually. That's why in the Holy Bible, Job just said, um, my worst fear has come upon me. So this is why this kind of work can be very powerful to program ourselves into a different way of being so we stop manifesting our fears. And I mean, COVID was a firsthand living example of what happens when humans manifest their fears, or at least try to. And so, I mean, I've noticed, and Raymond Grace and I noticed this, for example, we've noticed that we've met people who've literally been greatly affected by shedding of the vaccine. We've met people who've had not affected at all. And we've pretty much concluded it. I mean, I've got tested on all kinds of machinery. It hasn't done a thing for me. And it's because I, I just see it as a frequency which doesn't affect me. I've noticed the people affected by it walk around saying that they're affected by shedding. Um, I remember I used to always talk about how 5G would affect me. And it did. Then I started rechanging my frequency to say that I saw 5G as an energy and I could transmute the energy. And now when I get EMF tested, it's, it doesn't, I'm, I'm machinery and I get regular testings, it doesn't really show it's affecting me anymore. So we very easily manifest our fears. We really do. And in fact, if you ever, and none of you hopefully have gone down this path, but if you actually study the dark arts or understand how it works and why it's so powerful and why like, like um, you know, shamans like in the East have a real knowledge of the dark arts, and they're very mindful of it, and they're not ignorant to it. They know that if they can program you in reverse, it works. They can program your fears. They do manifestation in reverse. I can remember doing a webinar like this a few years ago, and there was a guy on it who was a dark arts um, Satanist who'd been in there and he'd left it. And the guy messaged me and was really intrigued. He goes, man, this is really intriguing because he said, how do you know this stuff? He said, what you're doing actually does fix things. And, and he said, which... Most people got no idea. Alberto Valdo, a shaman in the Amazon, he says his first experience of all of this was he got his mentor made a bet with him when he told him that the love and light will always conquer the darkness. And the guy goes, really? You think that? And he made a bet with him that a witch doctor would be able to put a curse on him at eight o'clock on Thursday night and he wouldn't be able to do anything about it. And he lost the bet. And he was literally said for 24 hours was the worst 24 hours of his life. And Later on, his mentor told him, look, he goes, just so you know, I'm not saying that you can't overcome it, but don't be ignorant to how good these guys are and what they can do to you and how they can bypass, they can find your weaknesses, they can access portals in your chakras, they can do all kinds of shit to you. So don't walk around in Venigo or they'll fucking knock you off your block. And he said, I'll show you now how to stop these guys doing anything from you. And, and then he got taught correctly. But I, I, you can see that all the time with COVID. I'm sure many of you listening to me going yeah you could see how that was working programming the fears of the vaccines of the health of everything like that i know at times at night when i'm feeling things being done to my mind and i'm sure some of you here would right know what i mean right now and again i'm not a big one in going around living in kind of paranoid fear i really not but it's good to be mindful of these things you know and that there are unfortunately many of us about realizing we do manifestation in reverse if you're sitting there hating your ex and thinking evil thoughts towards them or thoughts where you hope they die and lose all their money and you mean it 
And if that person is kind of vulnerable in their life, they will pick up those thoughts and vibrations because we're all connected and they'll start manifesting it. I can remember having some horrible situations going on with my manhood in terms of my libido and almost went impotent about 12 years ago. And I, I was trying all kinds of stuff and I was starting to really shit myself. I thought, how could this be happening to me? And then I ended up working with a shaman who said, have you really pissed off an ex? Because he said, there's a very powerful woman. She's projecting these thoughts into you right now. And of course, I realized that was actually happening. And then I did some work and cleared it. And then everything went back to normal. But the point is, this stuff is very real. But the exciting thing is you can easily overcome all this stuff if you're trained up and you know what, and you know how to deal with it. It's really easy. Um, when I say easy, you just got to be focused on it. It's just that most people are incredibly ignorant. So the ability to manipulate mass consciousness, I mean, again, it's not hard. This is stuff that you can watch and look for yourself. So, I mean, again, <laughs> if you really want this kind of result, you can accelerate a financial reset and an economic collapse even, for an example. Um, and it creates a self-fulfilling prophecy. I mean, who can see that and who believes that? Just raise your hand or type in the chat. You're like, yeah, you can kind of see how successful COVID was in training people into believing in a certain outcome. Who can kind of go, yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it, to me, it makes sense. If it didn't make sense uh, and all that, and I, everything I'm telling you, by the way, is not just out of a spiritual handbook. This is stuff I've either lived, I've researched, I've talked to people, I've spoken to people in secret societies, I've had friends. I've looked into the science behind this. Um, very non-religious teachers like Gerald O'Donnell have pretty much conceded that, yeah, there's no question this stuff goes on um, because, yeah, he said consciousness is easy manipulated on mass if you know what you're doing. So, very self fulfilling prophecy. Now, here's the really good news and the brilliant thing. You can do exactly the same. You can transform your health, your life, your city, where you're living, your even the planet i don't have the slightest doubt but if enough people across the planet really got this and started working on this this is what drives me we could significantly fix things on this earth and win our country a whole lot faster and so yeah people wearing masks and lining up for the vaccines yeah look there's still a lot of that programming i've noticed that the trauma i mean the biggest thing i noticed from the whole um, last few years was the trauma programming because trauma keeps people in a brain state susceptible to programming. And so it's really good to take back your mind and win this mental battle that basically we're in right now in the battle of the mind and get your health back in order. You know, there's so much you can do by frequency. It's exciting. You know, there's so much you can do with your health, your finances, everything. So purely by our intention, we can change frequency because everything is energy and the energy can be transformed. So we can change it. And, you know, a scientist would probably just call it a conscious intention, a remote viewing, a meditation. A religious kind of person would call it prayer. doesn't really matter what you call it. It's just simply, and the power of prayer has been proven. I mean, the great awakening that happened in the world about 200 years ago in America, when they actually researched that they found an extraordinary amount of prayer was going on, people focusing on outcomes to change their city and bring light to it. There was a huge amount. There was a story of a pilot in World War II that was like, they called him like a cat with nine lives. The guy would fly into ambushes with his squadron and everyone else would get shot down and he'd get away unscathed. Didn't get a single injury, single nothing. So in the end, they um, they started, they, they did some research into it and they actually found there was actually a grandma who was so concerned for her nephew, for her grandson, she was praying just for all the time because she wasn't working. She just was praying and constantly working on him and keeping his energy protected. And the guy literally was like a cat with nine lives. So like, you know, someone's mentioned here about reversing high frequency ringing in ears, um, a test group. Absolutely, you know, all this stuff you can do. The only thing that stops you is believing you can do it or not. You know, if you don't believe you can do it, then you can't. If you believe you can do it and you really do believe it, you can. Again, don't, usually when you do energy work and clearings, it doesn't happen straight away. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it takes time. I've seen healings happen instantly. I've seen healings take a few days. I've seen healings take a few weeks. I've seen healings take a few months. I've even seen it take longer than that. The main thing is consistency and until 
it manifests. And there's a very good book by a subconscious mind specialist called Joseph Murphy, another one by Neville Goddard. And he actually talks about it. He says, think of it like um, Jesus talking in the wine. He goes, once you've made the, the affirmation and the command, you have to often give it time for the command to be executed by the servant, the unconscious mind. So we can actually change the world. We can change everything. So this will start you off on a whole journey if you do it. You'll be able to start changing your family. I mean, we are seeing things change in family situations. I've seen relationships in my life transform, which are previously toxic, everything. And we can really change it. And in fact, it was a guy called Hawkins. Many of you would have encountered the Hawkins model of consciousness. Um, he's found that the more, if he, he's pretty much concluded if you raise up enough people in consciousness um, across the globe, you can change the planet. He's, he, that's what he concluded scientifically. And so this is a kind of idea different emotions so when you feel shame guilt fear so when you get into fear but your health issues permanent your energy drops right down and you start moving into a survival mode so this is like survival mode stuff this is like like a power this is like getting more into your heart you start to accept more start to get it go you start to increase your love and speaking your truth you start to get more of the non-duality and then as you start to get more awareness and things like that so it's actually a process of consciousness that you can go through. And this is really getting you started with that. So when we talk about the etheric body, we're talking about the energetic blueprint of the physical body, which identically, identically emulates the physical body in every respect, and it connects our physical body and our etheric body. And Mr. Alberto Vallola, a shaman, explains as found in the eighth, ninth chakra, it could carry traumas and injuries emotionally, physically from all our lifetimes. So even recently, I was quite bewildered because I'd done everything and yet my shoulders were still getting soreness and ongoing pain, just like really like tired and tired tissue. And I can remember going for an etheric body scan with a machine and it, it showed that I had, um, you know, ligament trauma in my tissues. And so I just basically, the first time I saw that, I got him to do some clearing on it and fix it up. Um, using the machine but then the second time I just got a video I actually said let me try and fix it myself and so I did that and I noticed that when I did that it instantly kind of fixed up and basically worked so it's incredible what you can do when you really do this kind of stuff and the power of what can happen so I'm actually going to quickly show you this is a video here now this machine here it's showing basically what it's saying there is the brain. So my brain's slightly out of balance. So when you watch it here, okay, so see that, that it only goes up to the center. So generally the center means it's right out of balance, okay? So it means it's completely out of balance. So generally you want it to be very high on the thing to show that it's energized. So being around this level showed that it wasn't functioning properly. So now what I'm going to do is I go ahead and I use my stuff removing interferences from emotions now keep in mind i tried different things ranging from long clearings it took me two minutes right down to 10 15 second clearings and i found it really made no difference how long i went was the intention last trauma this lifetime last lifetime so he, here's a bit of a longer version interlocking into so i'll just fast forward it a bit okay. and now we'll see it get redone see if that improves it So there, it just shot right okay. up. So even he was like, wow. <laughs> and I was kind of like, hey, this is pretty cool. And things like that. So Each one. So here's another one. So the bark flower essence is as acrimony, which is... So it's saying I need a bark flower essences. Yeah. So what it's showing was that the bark flower of agrimony, chestnut bud and elm was needed for me that showed that i was a little bit out and i needed some flower essence frequencies to help my digestive system get a lot better so this was a longer clearing so i'm just going to fast forward it a little bit just not bad in the thing with me being of the right frequency so yep yeah, i'm just fast forwarding it a bit for you so now we'll redo it so as you can see now it shot up which says my the frequencies are fine. I don't need them anymore. So I've just about put him out of business in terms of working with me. So let me see if I've got any. I'll do one more for you. 
68. Let's see if we can fix that up. Okay, so chose 68 on my endocrine system pancreas. Now, just to explain what I mean by that, is that generally you want it to be between about 40 and 60. And if it's between that, it's acceptable, but it was 68, which means it's way over energized. My pancreas isn't working as well. At the time, I was feeling a bit funny in my digestive. So 68. So then I went through, did my clearing, went along, and now we're going to redo it again, see what happens. So now 52, which is optimal frequency is 50. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty damn cool what you can do with this. That that was one of my most exciting things working on this a few months ago. Just type up, just put, just you know, type a Y or you know, raise your hand if you kind of find that pretty cool, and you find that really fascinating. Yeah, I wanted to actually measure it in real time, right? Because otherwise, it's kind of you know, I'm a big believer in the scientific measuring in real time and proving everything I'm doing by that. It's otherwise just an esoteric theory and i'm really big on changing the world um so this just gives you a bit of an example of the kind of different bodies the eastern world is very familiar with the etheric the western world we're still working that out so the etheric body to give you a bit of an idea it's very close to you so if you want to touch yourself about a few inches away from your body and go up that's your etheric body that's what's holding all your traumas and things like that so um the idea of homeopathy to give you an idea um you got the Berecki book but this is the big one um prince philip and the, and the queen lived a long time if you actually look into them there are big uses of homeopathy they were huge fans of it many of the elite and that's why i find it so it's just crazy you know like how you got the pharmaceuticals and other companies attempting to limit this but then you've got the um you know, but then you've got many of the elite users because they know that these frequencies work. So homeopathy, frequencies, essences, oils, it's just amazing. Like I'm full of them all through my stuff everywhere. I've got frequencies, essences sitting here. That. So these are used to balance out, like to give you a bit of an example, um, if you get the Terra essential oils, uh, what it can do. So I'm just opening this up right now. There's a Ustalago Matus, um, which basically says, you know, depressed, head feels full, nervous headache, um, <laughs> male uncontrollable masturbation, female um, very, very bad ovary pain, um, and this tincture can help to balance that out. So there's all this kind of stuff in the medical kind of um, homeopathy and things like that, because really it's just frequency. Um, that's all it is. And the best way I like to explain to people is that let's say that you've got your radio and you put on 95.1 on your radio, what it, let's just make that up for now. That just means that if your thing hits 95.1 on your radio, anyone in the world who's got their radio set to that, the, the wave waves going from the radio station in the etheric realm will hit your radio station and you're going to hear it. And if you are on 92.1, you're not going to hear it no matter what you do. And so equally, for example, that's what flower essences do. So they balance you back to a correct frequency. That's what they basically do. There was a dude called Hoxie in the 1930s, if you ever want to look into him, who was targeted heavily by pharmaceuticals and the American FDA just simply because he cured um, an insane amount of people from cancer using frequency medicine to test their frequencies and just working on that basis. So as an example, let's just say, and I'm making this up to be clear, let's say your optimal digestive frequency or your pancreas was, let's say, 50 if you had cancer there, you'd probably have like about an 89 or something, a very high, you know, out. So if you can get it back to 50, in theory, the, the, the body will self-heal. That's basically how it works. And there's so much to show the merits of that. And as the Amazon shaman, you know, and there's many factors, like someone said parasites, absolutely, you know. Someone's asked about the best scientific device for measurement concerning energetic efforts. Oh, look, there's many you know, there's the Rife machine, there's the infraceuticals, there's the um, avatar. But, you know, like the shaman finds that even, you know, there's evidence more and more now that even karmic imprints, um, basically Dr. Venus Williams, who is a, now keep in mind, I've often had people, oh, how do I get in contact with her? I don't actually know. I met her at a 
at a seminar or part of a mastermind group in Vegas, she was a Romanian professor who basically wrote a top, you know, um, a PhD thesis all about the etheric body and how it transmutes into the physical and did massive scientific research to prove it. And showing us stuff that happens in conception, before conception, parental, ancestral stuff. So when books like the Hindu teachings and the Bible and others talk about the sins of the fathers carrying on to the children, it's not some nasty, horrible, evil curse. It's just energetically the imprints get carried across. And so when you can clear this sort of stuff out, it can lead to a totally different outcome. And that's why, as well as doing a ferric body you know, workshops on health, we, we show people how to clear this in this kind of area, in karmic law, in, you know, in the auric field, in their ancestral stuff. I, I do this stuff regularly. I still to this day, I did a massive work on myself on the other week. I mean, I even saw a guy who I know, who I like to get it done from someone else as well, because they often see things that I'm missing. And I discovered I had some major imprints still around shock from something that happened when I was three years old that was right in my higher etheric body carrying down, which I cleared out. And I've noticed a difference since then. So by clearing these things out, you can start to see more prosperity, more health and everything. You can use this for everything. And the newest research is, is showing all this, you know. And once upon a time in the Western world, it was all about the physical. We've seen a progression towards mental health and psychology. And now what's absolutely fantastically awesome is starting to become recognized now as a way. What the Eastern shamans, what Alberto Vololdo, what many others have recognized for a long time, finally the West is catching up. Um, we're still a long way behind, but we're getting there now. And so Ken Wilbert in his book, Religion of Tomorrow, I'll actually grab it for you. It's um, a very well-researched book where he goes through and looks about the future of consciousness. He explains what's called the stages of consciousness that, is, that, 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 you, that, that you go through. He shows how the world is moving to what's called a stage six from a stage five. And he says, you're in a, it's a very tumultuous time whenever there's a massive stage shift. Like there's a stage four to five one that happened a few hundred years ago. That was a massive shift, industrial revolution. Now we're in a stage five to six or in another, another book calls it the fourth turning where we're in a major shift where you're going from what he calls an achievement kind of money oriented consciousness to a much more philanthropic, world changing, human, basically collective community consciousness, which doesn't dismiss the old consciousness. It's just an upgrade. And so he says the future religion of tomorrow is going to include a lot of things will be more inclusive, accepting of different beliefs. <clears throat> Whereas a stage four religion is very black and white, like we're the only way. And if you don't turn or burn kind of stuff, the stage six is inclusive. But the biggest thing he says, and why I'm mentioning him, is he says the etheric body medicine will become the big part of the stage six as people realize energy and etheric body healing will become the way of the future. That's what he predicts. It will move more into that. So you're on the cutting edge just by being here today with that. That's what Wilbur and many others teach about. So it very, very much things like etheric tears, if you've got a wound, you become vulnerable, you become susceptible to health issues, you know, where you might do everything right um, because you've got that. Alberto Vivaldo, of course, I mentioned, he is a very good shaman who makes similar predictions and how this will become the way of the future and is teaching the Western world the wisdom of the ancient medicine healers. So this is the great thing. It's now in the West and it's just, it's awesome to be part of doing this and knowing that just in the same way that mind-body psychology has become more recognized and more mainstream, etheric medicine is becoming the way of the future. So it will become mainstream. I can tell you that now. And people will see how they all interrelate. And then as we go to the next stage, it will go even further as we start to realize other things and all kinds of stuff. So someone talks about med beds. Yeah, med beds is a frequency healing device. Exactly. I mean, just about all this stuff is using frequencies to help the body self-heal. And so there's been more and more practitioners who are doing this kind of stuff. It's been really growing since 2000. The rise of practitioners who are using machines, they've been in the background because, you know, regulatory bodies haven't particularly liked these so much. Um, but this is going to become more and more common. And now beyond this, what we're doing now is even next level where you transmute it. And what's interesting is I've had trouble convincing some of these people that we can do this. They're like, oh, no, you've always got to do physical. You have to have the real homeopathic and things like that. So it's very exciting that the one guy I work with um, mainly 
he's very open to this, you know. And someone asked about THC and psychedelics. Absolutely. I mean, you can infuse the frequency of psychedelics into you as well. There's nothing to stop you from doing it at all. Nothing. Nothing except what you believe. So the etheric body, now keep in mind, and this is a like, I'm not going to go too much into this today, but if you actually, one of the things I found fascinating in having met people who used to be in the dark hearts, they tell me that they could literally scan people's etheric body and see their weaknesses and know where to target them. So that's what they would do. And even in societies, if they wanted to particularly target a government or city or individual, that's what they would do. So they always said that people who knew how to protect themselves, they really couldn't do much about them. So they said we had to kind of trick these people into believing that they were, they were that, you know, that they were that different stuff. So it's really exciting when you start to realize this and see the potential and possibilities and know that you really want to get ahead of the game. And that's how I see it. Um, and things like that. And Hoxie, of course, was curing cancer by using such devices. And so we're seeing an explosion of this now, you know, and it's such an untapped field of potential. And I mean, one of the things I've been saying to my team is, God, we want to, we're going to be, we've actually run a healing certification years ago. We've got a couple we're training now, but I said, gosh, we've got to start training up more healers in this area and grow this up because especially if, you know, things get more targeted and things get more pushed in the healthcare, we want to make sure people know how to energetically heal themselves and, and, and heal others. So I'm sure some of you here are probably already thinking, wow, I'd love to be an etheric healer and be on the cutting edge of that myself, you know? So if you are, raise your hand. It's inter it'd be interesting to see who kind of that interests you. For me, I love this kind of stuff. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, lots of people. I'm not surprised. Um, it's, it's something which I'm doing more and more of. I want to do lots of this, not just in the physical body, but the financial and all kinds of stuff. So many people who go on this journey, they do it originally for themselves, but then they eventually, you find when you've been healed, you want to start healing others. And just understand that anything that's not cleared from the um, etheric will manifest in the physical. That is actually a law. It will happen. So let's just explain a bit more what I mean by that um, and go into that. So, yep, I know Toby's code work, L. I've done some of that. It was good. Um, there's, there's lots of different people doing different stuff. So this is what Venus Williams, Alberta Vololdo, just about anyone now who understands this area is aware of, you know. Um, even the COVID lockdowns, I remember saying to someone, you know, you will end up attracting to the very place that resonates with your ferric frequency and your karmic ancestral imprint. And I had people who did everything to escape lockdowns who still got caught in them, you know, and things like that. And so just to give you a bit of an example, even, using Louise Hayes, um, metaphysical list. So I remember when I used to have back issues, yeah, I had a massive issues around emotional support and, and feeling unsupported in my life. And once I cured a lot of that, cancer, they found generally um, literally hatred of self. That's what they generally found with cancer. Legs carry us forward. We're feeling a bit like struggling with our life direction. Anxiety, she says, not trusting the flow and process of life. Fatigue, resistance, boredom, lack of love. I remember when I had chronic fatigue and I remember reading that, I was like, shit, because that's how I felt. I felt bored. I felt like I'd lost my interest in life. I lost my interest in so many different things in my career, everything. This was my absolute, <laughs> I had really bad asthma as a kid. And Bill McRae actually used to say, his claim to fame, he was a great psychotherapist who helped my father back in the 70s. He'd say one of his claim to fame in his practice was give me any child with asthma, give me their mother for three months psychotherapy and I will fix the asthma. And he would do it every time because he said it was simply learning to transform the mother and things like that. So there's all kinds of stuff, you know, there's that, there's the back issue, support of life, there's cancer, which is deep hurt, long-standing resentment, grief, eating away at the self, legs carrying us forward in life, anxiety, um, things like that, um, fatigue. One of my older son at one stage had asthma as a kid. And I remember I said this for Grace. And when once Grace got this, we worked on it together with her. As soon as she fixed it, um, he woke up the next day and he had no more issues of his asthma. He and no more. So 
Historically, neck pain, stiff neck individual. Um, eczema is generally when you're really fucking pissed off. <laughs> like someone who hates their space being invaded, they're pissed off and stuff like that. Um, so that's a big one with eczema, um, psoriasis. So gallbladder, that was certainly the case with me. I had a lot of resentment and bitterness in life towards my mother and a few others at the time. And I did a lot of work on that. Arthritis is very similar. It's about self-criticism and hatred. So arthritis, she says, it's a deep lack of self-love and self-criticism. So you've got to learn to stop criticizing yourself and others. Um, so by you've got to really watch your language with criticism, you know. In terms of babies of eczema, that's generally, according to Bill McRae, the mother, generally they're picking up stuff from their mother. And so if you can help the mother to heal and to release, the baby will fix automatically. Up to about the age of 12, a child is pretty much um, in the energy of their mother. That's what they found. And then around 12, they start to move more into the energy of the father and find their own identity. So you can affirm yourself into various kinds of belief systems, you know, through training. You know, you can you can do that. I mean deserve prosperity and not to suffer so even now let's just kind of release any you know let's just have a in fact before we do this let's just have a quick look you know what's the general feel belief that people here feel they deserve to suffer yeah reasonably high it was around about a negative 30 40 percent this is affecting people is what i'm getting so let's just see if we can scramble that and help people out a little bit today oh this is going fast so we're scrambling that energy of that belief. And I'm going to do something that Raymond taught me. So just know, I want you to notice where you feel it in your body. And I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to tell you afterwards. One, a few points, exactly where you're feeling it. Oh, it's really moving. I mean, transforming into a belief of prosperity and in a general belief in abundance now again you've got to do this regularly but this is kind of a good kick start okay so just type in the text chat if you just give it raise your hand if you felt something and if you're actually willing to share what you felt in your body just type in the chat like where you felt it be very interested vital of that heavy chest and stomach yep the heart yep i was working on the heart yep solar plexus that's really good because i was working raymond grace teaches that those beliefs go into the brain the heart and the sexual area those are the three main areas and the strongest in the sexual area if it's entrenched in that it's it that that will override the others so it's interesting that some people were feeling it in the sacral some were feeling it in the heart that's good it means that you were very sensitive to it and you would have been experiencing some release and hopefully you're already feeling like yeah you know why not be prosperous? Liver, second chakra, behind upright calf. Yep, interesting. You can feel it all these places. So right lower abdomen. Yep, that would be around the chakra. That's good. People are feeling it. You can train yourself into this. And keep in mind, you know, don't expect it. Like join the gym. If you join the gym tomorrow and expect it to be, you know, the world's greatest bodybuilder in a week, well, you're kind of being a bit unrealistic. You've got to give it time. So if you haven't done much of this and you've been speaking shit over yourself for a long time, be patient with yourself. Start doing it every day, just giving thanks. And even if you find it hard to say that to yourself, even say, right, I am I am moving into perfect health. You know, that way you might be more truthful. I'm moving into perfect health. It's happening in the process. All is well. I'm being led to everything to come my way in the right time. That's better than saying, oh, I've got this sickness. That will lead you and give you unconscious an opportunity to move into that. So that's just a good example. Hopefully this is valuable for you. I mean, I think that's a better belief than kind of believing that you're going to get a shitty relationship you're going to be messed around with. Um, Donald Trump, it's well known. This is actually his affirmation. He actually has this particular affirmation. Um, and many others. Okay. And finish off before we do some questions and we do a bit of a clearing. Um, the Oxford Medical Journal, this was one where literally there was a guy who took a drug believing it would hear his brain tumor and it did then he found that the drug had, had failed in the testing and he got his brain tumor back his doctor gave him a water placebo and told him that was the second version of the drug his brain tumor left he found out six weeks later that the doctor had lied to him he was furious at the doctor his brain tumor came back and he died so literally the guy was healing himself by believing that 
there's much shift energy to show but the main reason the supplements work is that people believing on the work that's it you know because i actually believe that the supplements are going to work um to heal it and oh if i take this supplement it will fix me and then the mass consciousness supports that and things like that so okay so to finish off before we take questions and then we go through and those who want to stay and tell you about the workshop, just if you've got a particular um, priority thing, you would really like some help with a bit of a shift and get some flower essences infused, just to put raise your hand on the text chat and, or, or raise your hand or you can actually type it in the chat. And then what we're going to do is just see what we can do for you. And then we're going to take some questions. Okay, upper back, abdomen, left hearing, yep, numbness in the arm. Okay, beautiful. Okay, the main thing is just to believe, annoying cough, hands and feet, chest, anxiety. Okay, this is good. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, you know, left elbow. Okay, so what you want to do is just receive it. And just know that it's done. That's what Jesus said. If you know you've got it. Now, keep in mind, if you have an expectation it will instantly fix, it may do. It may not instantly fix. You may just feel something. Just go away and give thanks it's done. So it's very important once I've done this, that you give thanks that it's been done. Okay? It's been thanks. Give thanks it's been done. Okay? And give thanks it's been done. And it's in the process of happening. Okay? And then give thanks again before you go to sleep at night. Okay? While you're drinking the water. Same with tooth pain as well. And the good thing is when you do that, some people get an instant release. Some, you may not have much happen, but you'll get a sense to do something. Like you may get a sense to go and do this, or I need to fast, or I need to go and do this to my to my tooth, or I, or I feel to go and do X, Y, Z, or I feel I've got to make something right with someone. So, okay, we're just going to scramble the frequency of whatever it is right now for the relevant people on this webinar. Oh, this is going fast. And now let's just transform and let's just bring in whatever we are able to bring from the Bereki's flower essences, the bark flower, um, the work with the different shamans that I've worked with and thinking of and the different, um, I'm going to say something in my head. And transform, heal the etheric tears, repair the etheric body in that area. And begin the process of healing and, and repatterning now. Whew, that happened pretty quickly, actually. You're in a good state. Okay. So take a glass of water. <laughs> Someone put the West Coast Eagles. <laughs> yeah, they could do a frequency upgrade. I couldn't agree more. Uh, just type a Y in the chat. Or just type in the chat if anyone noticed the instant healing, felt a shift, or just... Um, you know, raise your hand or whatever. Massive team movement from my body. Someone, someone, yes, a big shift. It, usually you get at least one person who's an instant healing. I'm just curious if anyone's had one. Maybe someone who's really in the right brain. So keep in mind, there's the faith of me as a healer working, which is there. And then there's your faith. And there's nothing wrong. I mean, some people at different levels of faith. It took me years because I'm such an overthinker by nature. It took me years of retraining myself to get myself out of my blooming head. So if you think if you so never feel down, it took me years. Most of you will probably learn this much faster than me. Someone felt instant healing, numbness in right arm almost gone. That's fantastic. So just give thanks that give thanks for what you've got and just give thanks that the healing is in the process of completing. Anyone else? Quick shivering all over from someone. It's really good. Yep. And while we do that, keep writing the chat. I'm going to open it up now for questions before we go and, and share about the workshop. Less pain in the left hip. I'm going to put my camera off and just get my water filled up and be back in about a minute, everyone. So this gives you a chance to have a sip of water, type in the chat what you felt and experienced, and then start asking your questions. Okay, so... Very positive and spirited webinar, feeling more positive and happy from turmoil and pains to release and trust. That's wonderful. Thank you. 
Um, that's great. I'm really happy to hear that. Feeling happy, Steve. That's awesome. Awesome. So, got any questions? No, none coming through. So I think people are just ready to get going. Um, oh yeah. So Sue asks, I've done the dowsing energy work for health issues many months with some success. Issues get better than return. Any insights? Look. More likely than not, it's still programmed in the etheric body, and that's why, and that's where you've got to get to the auric field. So you're kind of not getting into that deep enough. That's number one. Number two, what's very possible as well, is you're neutralizing the effect of it because if you're doing it, and then the next day you're saying all negative stuff about you. So what I would suggest is that you find a, a statement or affirmation that you're comfortable believing. So if you're going around that I'm in perfect health and you don't believe that, it's better off to start with, for example, like I'm in the process of this health issue transforming. It's getting better and better and just keep giving thanks, but also listen to the practical steps because you may be getting led to do a practical step, which you're not listening to. You know, like sometimes it's instant. Sometimes you get led to go and see someone or do a step or do some stretching or, you know, do some stuff. Like I was trying to literally live this perfectly health life and never exercise. And I got clearly told you need to exercise and get more movement happening. And once I did that, it became easier, you know? So, yeah, someone says, yep, Judith felt slight vibration in the right hip area. The pain and tension is less now. That's great. Electra, feeling grateful for this resource. No, nah, thank you. I'm really happy. I'm really pleased to see people taking it on board and feeling the shifts because, like I said, that's why I'm doing this. Are there any more dowsing checklists available? Dun Raymond's course would like more info scripts. Look, yeah, look, part of the, the, the workshop I'll be offering, we'll be giving some stuff there. We'll be going through all that, Jane. So we'll be covering that, which I'm about to go into the workshop. Um, what is the computer program used? I don't know, Mal. It's not my computer program. It's, uh, it's the um, homeopath who I work with. It's the one he uses. Lisa, every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. Yeah, absolutely. That's a really good one. That's because some, if you can say I'm in perfect health, then that's then then you say that you know and if you believe that it'll happen in record time if you're not quite there you go with where you're at so it's really good and else it's good to meet up reinforce and just be here with all of us brilliant thanks so much for sharing this information with us oh look my pleasure you know absolute pleasure so okay so on that note um I really hope you've learned some really good stuff to help shift your reality. That's what you came for today. Thank you so much for attending. And just please spread the word and send people along to the YouTube channel and let people watch the recording. So anyone you know who's sick and not well, they can watch this and get some bit of help, you know, and bring some change to our planet and to their own lives. So if you've come today, like I told you up front, I'll be offering a workshop. I don't like you know, making an offer to, to, you know, to sell something, let people know up front. So if you came for that today, it's all you came for. Thank you for coming. Um, if you've got some good resource, just, you know, raise your hand or type a Y in the chat or, you know, whatever else you can do. If you've really felt, felt some shift that's worthwhile, just, just um, type a Y or, yep, plenty of hands being raised. Beautiful. For those who'd like to stay, I'll be running a one-day workshop. So, yeah, quite a few have a saying I've already booked in. Who's already booked in for this workshop? Just put me. If you've already booked in, just say me because it seems to be, a lot of people already who booked in yep okay quite a few um so yep i've already booked in um okay for those who haven't um i'll explain what's involved so it's going to be on it's going to be really helping you to apply this in real life a one-day online workshop how to master the metaphysics of that apply it in real life to see change in a change and save yourself dollars on supplements and be able to self-heal and improve yourself. And you can use this on finances, on health, relationships, everything. So these are the kind of things we'll be covering, similar to what we covered today. We'll be giving you principles, etheric body medicine. We'll be giving you secrets of the manifestation. We'll really be breaking this down and doing real practical stuff in real time, dowsing principles and techniques, especially how to apply it to health and well-being and finances as well as practical daily exercises that won't take you long to start doing. Very simple, you know, it could be a minute, you know, it doesn't take long, as well as access to recordings to go over and over it um, in times to come. So basically, to get the opportunity to watch it over and over. So, and what we'll be doing after that is following up with a midweek follow-up class 
to explore any challenges you've had, tips to implement and give up. And then also, we'll be giving you options for ongoing learning and mastery because there's some people who are very keen, you know, who always like to learn more stuff, get more one on one help, or get involved in more ongoing group work. And in fact, yeah, for some of you, you probably will say, yeah, we want to do this. You know, we want to become healers ourselves. And the fastest way to actually accelerate your own healing is become a healer. This is something I learned early on, because when you heal others and you get led into that path, what tends to happen is that you actually, because you're interconnected with them, I have, I've set up a program that whenever I'm healing people, I'm healing too with you. So everything that I've seen happen with all of you, I've basically allowing myself to heal along with you. So that's giving me a chance to get more healing in my area or my back or my gallbladder or anything that's residual. So it's one of the most powerful things that when you do healing work or energy shifting work or transformational work, you're actually healing with, with the people that you're doing it with. So becoming a healing as well as being a very rewarding thing, it actually is something that can accelerate your own healing and your own results in your life. And Someone asked, will it cover how to know what state your etheric body's in first? Absolutely. Yep, we'll be covering all that. We'll be going into that kind of stuff. And just to get a bit of an idea. Keep in mind, you're not going to turn up there and walk away with a perfect etheric body. What you're going to walk away with, it's like, it's like you go into a health workshop where you haven't done, where you've done some exercise or not much, and you learn a process to start implementing that will change your life. So um, we'll be doing all that kind of stuff. So that's basically the investment in Australian dollars. Um, there is an early bird special, which I'm giving for tonight, which is available, you know, only for the night, just because again, we, we're kind of getting back to this price, um, the 275 Australian dollars up front, but we are giving this special tonight. Um, because it's not until July, it's going to be $250. And so if you, I'm getting some people already saying they're interested, if you're interested and you're keen to kind of do this and come along, just type or just type out yes just send it to me privately or just in a chat just send it across to us okay yep getting quite plenty of yeses hit me yep in fact our last workshop was quite fascinating but the free one i did a few weeks ago we had almost half the people sign up which i've never seen before so in terms of dates yep okay so this particular one is going to be in the 8th of july on a saturday we will be recording it as well so um, we will be recording it if for both, if you have to miss some of it. Um, so if there's any sections that you miss, but yeah, it'll be the 8th of July. So in terms of um, how to get access to the early bird special, I will give you the link right now in the chat, you know, or a team can do that. And use the coupon code heal yourself, please. It's very important that you do that. Um, type that word there. So heal yourself. So um, what I'll do is just show you now how to do that. So getting quite a few yeses. Yep. So heal yourself. Um, so yep, yeah, probably about half of you anyway are already booked in, I've noticed. But that's a basic thing. So this is the page that you should be seeing when you click on the link. Um, what you do from there is you secure your seat. You click on that one there just to show you exactly so you know what to do. And like I said, it needs to be done today. Um, promo code. So what you would do is heal yourself. And I hope you can all see that um, just to make sure. Then click apply. And then you get the discount, okay? So you can see that there. I mean, that way you get it. You can either pay with PayPal. You can pay by debit or credit card. You know, either way works fine. So... Hopefully that's clear. Usually it gets through okay. We've had a few cases situation when someone has an issue. So that's what we use there. Okay, so any final questions from people or comments? Like who's who's signed up definitely or already signing up right now? Just type a Y if you're definitely signing up or coming along. Yep, awesome. Getting quite a few yeses. Now it'd be great to see you there. And like I said, you'll be getting really good cutting edge. You will be doing live work as well as teaching you in real time and health. I'll be very surprised if you don't walk away with a significant difference in your life and health. I mean, like I said, ongoing options and things like that.
So in terms of what time for US, whatever else, well, it's going to start about nine, um, nine o'clock um, Western Standard Time, which is 11 o'clock Eastern Standard. So American, that's about nine o'clock in the morning in, at, at night US time. I think about the Western time, about five or six o'clock at night. So, you know, if it's getting, mind, if you're doing it late at night and you're going to be tired, you will actually, you'll go into a deep brain state. But like I said, there will be recordings as well. Someone asked about doing in-person workshops. The answer is yes, and things like that. And look, inevitably, with any one-day event, in terms of missing a part of it, it's very rare that you'll be able to get the time and get all of it. The main thing is that you will get access to the recordings and you can listen in. And even if you're coming in partway through, you'll benefit from the frequency and pick it up pretty fast. So, yes, in terms of live, eventually we do plan to do live, you know, in-person ones in this as well. So thank you, thank you, Christine. Good to see you here. Any final questions or comments before we end? Yep, and like I said, if you basically come along and we can hopefully get and, and start to see some results and get it going. Yes, it's gonna be run online. So the program will be run online. Okay, so thank you everyone. Just before we end, um, yep. So who's already signed up out of interest? I'm just curious. Just type a, raise your hand or give a why if you've already gone ahead and done it or you're in the process of doing it right now. Yeah, wow. Five people or six people already. Five people already. Yep, yeah, awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming, everyone. And really appreciate your trust. And I hope you all got some great value tonight. Thank you for attending and I look forward to seeing you um, at the workshop for those of you coming. Bye for now.